July 1946, the Bikini Atoll in the Pacific. The military begins an aggressive atomic weapons testing program called Operation Crossroads. Radio-controlled autopilots are installed in eight B-17 bombers, converting them into drones filled with hundreds of automatic cameras so they could fly directly into the mushroom cloud. The timing mechanism that was supposed to start all the cameras failed, and so all of the scientific films started late, and they were unable to get satisfactory scientific results. Traditional photographic equipment can't deliver. So the military turns to three high-tech wartime innovators at MIT, Harold Edgerton, Kenneth Germishausen, and Herbert Greer who would go into business as eg and They invent ultra-high-speed cameras that can capture atomic detonations in their first critical milliseconds. One of the technologies that they built was the Rapidtronic camera. It was a still camera that could shoot a frame of about two milliseconds. These are some of the more spectacular images that you see come out of EG&G work. Uh, these sort of almost otherworldly, alien-like fireballs. images of the bomb detonating, you could get both to things like yield, how powerful was this bomb, through very careful measurements of photographic frames. Now, for the first time, they could begin to calculate the impact their weapons would have. It's the critical information needed to build better bombs. What all cameras can record, and what the public sees, is an image that would characterize the atomic age. The mushroom cloud quickly becomes an iconic symbol of death and destruction. <laughs> 